First alert weather with Cassie Campbell is sponsored by St. Francis Healthcare System. Welcome back to Heartland Afternoon. The Arctic air is something I think we're getting used to. A few days ago, I was on the KFVS 12 weather app and oh. yeah, I was also finding out like what temperature it was in Alaska. A few days ago, it was actually warmer in Alaska than it was here in the Heartland. Isn't that crazy? It those when we drop down to those single digits it really makes those thirties just feel like so warm. But I heard there's hope in sight. Oh yes, Jeffrey, we are slowly, slowly going to warm up oh, next week. Yes. But that's okay. Just a few more days around the corner, and then it'll start feeling more like the middle towards end of January. Looking at our six to ten day temperature outlook, average high for this time of year is around 43. So we have been well below that, especially this week. But Looking at the into next week, we are going to be near that average and possibly a little bit above average. If we look across our map, currently we have a front that's going to push through another cold air mass for your weekend. So that's going to give us a few more days of this very cold, cold weather that we've been dealing with. But good news, we are at least dry right now, clearing up some of that snow starting to melt off the roadways. The roadways are looking better due to that sunshine that's been able to peek through the clouds throughout our afternoon clearing in southeast Missouri and into southern Illinois. Even the clouds are starting to separate more to our southern counties. All of that wintry mix well off to our east. Here's that second round that's slowly going to creep in. Cloud coverage wise, we're looking to stay mostly dry as we head into your weekend. That's the positive note with the colder temperatures. Going to stay well below freezing Thursday night into Friday. Friday morning, the winds are going to start to really surge out of the north. Gusty winds wind gets up to about 30 miles per hour throughout the entire day tomorrow. Cloudy skies for a majority of our Friday. The sun could peek through in some areas, but staying under mostly cloudy skies for Friday and into Friday night. Come Saturday, we will start to see those clouds break apart. Lots of sunshine, but still very cold temperatures. Those temperatures are going to stay below that freezing mark for tomorrow and Saturday before we slowly see the clouds roll out Saturday night. And then we get some of those warmer temperatures, slightly warmer temperatures for Sunday. Remember, we do have this winter weather advisory in effect until 9 a.m. tomorrow for our southern counties, western Kentucky into Tennessee, mainly due to some travel impacts for the snow that hasn't got the chance to melt or a little bit of that precip that fell earlier today could be could be creating a few slick spots out there. Tomorrow, very gusty. Temperatures in the 20s to kick off your morning, and they're going to decrease because we're getting that shot of cold air back in down to the teens for the afternoon. 19 has a high there around 1 o'clock with those strong winds out of the northwest, making those wind chill temperatures even colder than the actual temperature. 20 on Friday, down to single digits Friday night. 20 on Saturday, single digits come in once again. Very cold evenings once that sun goes down. 30 on Sunday, and then from there, we are only going to start to trend upwards. 39 on Monday. Look at this, 48. We're going to jump into the upper 40s by next week, possibly hitting 50 by Wednesday. But along with the warmer temperatures comes our chance for some widespread rain really throughout the entire week next week. 